most of us will likely be investing a portion of our paycheck. So something like $100 per month for 40 years into the S&P 500 that traditionally appreciates about 10% will give us something like $535,000. If we can invest more like $500 per month, we'd see that increase like crazy up to $2,660,000. But some of us have a problem, and even though it's a good problem, it's still a problem. You may get an inheritance or a lump sum of money from an old employer or old 401k, you may sell a business, but either way, you'll have this large sum of money and you don't know if you should invest it in a lump sum, all of it right now, or if you should dollar cost average over like a year or something and just put a little bit in each month. And now I've done multiple videos on the ETFs that I like best. And so after this video, I'll send you to that video. But for now, we're trying to figure out should you invest that lump sum now or dollar cost average? I got this question specifically from Amy. And so thank you so much for the question, even though I have gotten this question from a lot of you. So to all of you, thank you for the topic. And if you're thinking that you have a question that you've always wanted answered, go ahead and throw that down in the comment section below and I might pick that for office hours next week. I'm Nolan Govea, my students call me Professor G, and I made this channel to make investing simplified. So you basically have two choices once you've figured out that you're going to invest that money, which is a great decision, by the way. First is to just throw it all in right now and be done with it. The pro of that would be that that's very simple. It gets the money in, it gets it started working, you don't have to worry about it after that. This would be a lot less stress, and especially since you've done all the research and you follow this channel, you should know where you're going to actually put that money if you were to invest it today. The con though would obviously be that if you put that money in now and next week or a month or two from now, the market just drops 20% or something, then you're gonna lose some money. The second choice would be to put money in in little chunks. So instead of you putting in the full amount today, you'll put like a tenth of it in each month for the next 10 months. That's something called dollar cost averaging and it's a great strategy. The pro of that strategy would be if the market does keep dropping, you get to keep buying in at a lesser price. The con though would be if the market starts to rise, you're now buying in at a higher price and a more expensive price than had you just put the whole lump sum in from the beginning. Now let's dive deeper on option number one because there's obviously so much fear in just investing that whole lump sum. So let's focus on a worst case scenario and let's say that you have a lump sum of $100,000. Now most of us won't have a lump sum that big, but it's gonna make the math easier. And so just take whatever your lump sum is and look at it from that perspective. For example, if you were to invest your lump sum in mid-February of 2020, you would have gone from 100,000 then to about 67,000 in about one month, losing you about $33,000 very quickly. Or even worse, in September of 2008, had you invested $100,000 then, you'd see that turn into close to $50,000 in less than six months. But now let's look at those terrible scenarios. Had you just kept the money in and what it would look like for today. For the 2020 scenario, it would have only taken six months to get back to ground zero. With $100,000, VU is a little over $300 per share, so you would have bought 324.6 shares. Today, VU is at $376 per share, so you'd be at over $122,000, gaining you over $22,000 in about three years. And that's with a down market last year and this year. For 2008, VU wasn't around yet, so we can just look at the S&P 500 prices. The price was about $1,242, so you would have bought 80.5 shares. Today, the S&P 500 is at $4,109. So today, that $100,000 would have turned into $330,837. In about 15 years, you would have made $230,000. And this is the worst case scenario. This is had you put that lump sum in and it dropped within a month or two. So now a large amount of data shows us that we can expect the S&P 500 to appreciate about nine to 11% on on average as it's done for the past 70 years through depressions and recessions. 
So dollar cost averaging, we generally know that you can somewhat expect about 10% per year on average. Some years will be down like last year, and some years will be very up. Like a couple years ago, we were at 30% appreciation for the S&P 500. So with all this being said, what's the best way to invest this lump sum? In my opinion, it's going to be a hybrid between the two. If it was me and I had $100,000, the way I would do it is I would put $50,000 in today into the ETFs that I recommend, and I would be totally okay with it even if it drops like 50% tomorrow. I would actually be even more okay with it because I know that I have all that money sitting on the sidelines, and so if it did drop a bunch, I would just put that money in then and lower my cost basis. But anyway, the way that I would do it is $50,000 in as soon as possible just to get it in the market. That whole time in the market thing is important. And then I would just put about $5,000 in every month for the next 10 months. By doing it this way, you don't have to commit to putting in all of your money and then going through the stress of it possibly losing a bunch. But then also, if it were to start climbing, it will have been a genius move for you to have put that money in now when it's at its lowest. But if you decide that for you, it's just gonna be much less stress to just throw it in all together and just get it all straight in there, and the market does drop, fine. As long as you don't need the money within the next five years, you're gonna be totally okay. I believe that even if we drop, the market is gonna exceed where we're at at now in the next five years and in the next 10 years it's gonna blow it totally out of the water exactly like that 2008 example I was showing you now if you won't be able to sleep at night seeing your 100,000 turn into 50,000 then maybe you should do the dollar cost average idea and you should just put in 10,000 every month for the next 10 months this will be much less emotional, and if the market dips, you'll look like a genius at that point. Now, if you're on the fence as far as exactly which ETFs to invest in, when you do put that money into your investing account, here's my updated three fund portfolio to make it very simple for you to just focus on three funds and you don't have to do all the crazy research every single month figuring out where to put your money. And if you've already watched that, then go ahead and watch this video that's gonna help you save even more money to make you invest more money that's gonna get you to financial freedom way quicker.